Hello everybody and welcome to a quick tutorial of the Permissions X Auto Setup Tool version 1.4. So let's get started. First of all open up the tool. You will now see choose server. You can choose from local server or remote server. A local server is uh, that the server is hosted on the same machine as you are playing Minecraft on. And a remote server is like um, Beastnode or any remote server that's using MySQL. We're first we're going to take a look at the look for updates. So let's press this. You will now see current version 1.0.0.4 beta R2. Let's check for updates. And it will say you have the latest version. So this is a yeah, small update. So let's close this. Next we're going to try the local server. You will now see server not found not running. So you need to start the server before you click this button. So let me start it up. Here it goes. And let's try again. Local server. And now you can choose what you want in easy setup. If you click this the program will set up everything for you. You don't have to press anything. Except for start of course. And if you press advanced setup you can set up everything. Custom group names, custom prefixes, the permissions which will be included in version 1.5. So let's try the easy setup first. Now I press this, now you can see what groups will be created. A default, member, VIP, moderator and admin group. Next permissions will be given to the admin. It's everything He can use everything. And the prefixes that will be used, all standard prefix, prefixes um, shown at the permissions text wiki. I also a little notice that modify world will be included in version 1.5. Next you can also choose a person that can use all the um, permissions X commands in game. So let's say my own name and press start. And now see it will press everything right in. Option rank set, everything is done. So let's try this. Let me start up Minecraft. Again, failed. So, uh, no problem. Try again. And enter the wrong password. <laughs> One second. Here it goes. I logged in and let's try to type something in. Test. You now say test in grey because I'm a default user. Now I will make myself a admin. User group set. Now test this again. You now see my name is admin Adiash. So that's basically it. Um, permission setup successfully. Now we will show you how to do the advanced one. So let's stop this. And also delete it, the permissions. Okay. Um, let's close this. Open oh, the program again. Um, oh, one more thing. Remote server is currently disabled for version 1.4 beta. You will see. The feature select is not implemented in the beta. Please stay tuned for an update. Okay. So let's try the local server. Oh, one second. Run. Okay, now local server, advanced setup this time. And now you can choose everything you want. So let's say group 1 is default. Leave it like this because uh, this will set the rank of default. Try group 2, let's say normal. Group 3, builder. Group 4, mod. Group 5 operator. Then we can use all the permission text commands. Let's say the edge. And press start. You see, everything has been set. Groups, mod, operator, builder, normal. And the default rank has been set. Now to change the prefixes, go here. 
enter the name of the group so let's say we had operator operator prefix um, let's choose a color I want to take the color blue and the de from default then if you don't enter anything in these groups it will not create a prefix for these groups let's try see package group operator prefix the oh yes the uh, should be the, G, uh, the O from operator well yeah let's try this okay let's type something test uh, I'm not in a group uh, right now so let me choose group set operator here you go and let's type something in test we now see it will say D like this you see that so you now have seen I entered a prefix and a I uh, created some custom groups you will see uh, a lock uh, tab will be nailed in version 1.5 and feedback if you need some help from me or you don't know how to use the program correctly just up here in your name on bucket so I can contact you and a question and I will receive an email regarding your question I will uh, reply as soon as possible so that's it thank you for watching and stay tuned for an update